Good morning, everybody. Um, still carrying on with this Edith Holden thing. <laughs> Um, I've got some vellum here, a scruffy bit of paper at the back. I'm going to try the Distress Crayons on vellum because I've only got this yellow vellum, which is lovely, and I've, you know, I've punched the edges and that and made it look lacy. But what I'm thinking of doing is doing the Distress Crayons like you've seen me do before, and then do the removal technique and get these flowers on there. I don't know. I don't know whether it's going to wrinkle and oh, be a pain. I'm not sure. I've also got a couple of vellum envelopes that I want to do a similar thing with. They're very white and um, I just want to get some colour on them, basically. And then I've got two strips here which came off of these. And I think if I can get, I don't know, I'll see what we can get on there. If I can get a partial of that one on there, I think that'll look quite nice. And again, they'll be really nice page edges. So... Um, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you with me. Hope that's all right. Let me make sure I'm all in screen. Yeah, looks good. Right. <laughs> oh, it's stressful, you know, doing this YouTube stuff. Okay, I'm going to concentrate. I don't know what's going to show up, I'll be honest with you. So I'm just going to play around with colours. I've got the lighter greens. I don't want it to be too in your face. Uh, because, you know, Edith's books just aren't like that. So I'm going to do the old scribbly technique. Just scribble bits on and mess around. I'm going to start on these and then if it all goes pear shaped, we can, um, you know, we can resuscitate the rest of it. I don't know what you're going to see actually. It's not very plain white, this paper, is it? Let me, um, let me grab a clean sheet of paper. I could just do it on the tile, couldn't I? It wipes off, so it's not a problem. You might be able to see better then. Good thinking, Batman. Right. Okay, so that first one was Shabby Shutters. It's a very pale green. I say I don't want it I don't want it in my face, you know, I just want a bit of little hint. Uh, that's crushed olive, love that colour. And this is uh, twisted citron. Uh, sorry, these are the distressed crayons in case I didn't say that. I can't remember. And then I thought just for a little bit of colour, Mill Lavender. I don't know if that's going to show up, I'll be honest with you, but uh, we'll give it a go. So what I'm thinking is sort of towards the middle to top with this colour, because I'm hoping it might hit the flower bud, if anything. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to mess around. <laughs> like you do. Now then, is it going to smudge? No. Now, um, I didn't uh, put the, what's it called, uh, matte medium on this because, sorry, that was crinkly, uh, vellum is a nightmare for warping and being a right pain, so um, I don't know if it's even going to, oh, it does spread, that's something. <laughs> Actually, it might work with just a wet finger then. So yeah, it's um, this ephemera stage is the one that, um, let's just get some water away from the vellum. See, it's starting to crinkle already. There's just a tiny bit of moisture on there, but never mind. We can put it under a book and make it squish. Um, yeah, making the ephemera, to me, is just like the real longest part. Well, isn't well, I guess it's to everybody. It is the longest bit, making all the bits and bobs and the page decorations and what have you, so... This might not work. <laughs> I don't know. Um, welcome if you're a new subscriber. It's really lovely to have you here. And also, you know, to those that just keep coming back and commenting, it is lovely. I see a lot of familiar names and it's it's really nice. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, some of the, some of you have been with me since day one and that's lovely. So, and thank you all for keeping me up to date on what numbers I've got of subbies. So. Yeah, 
I mean, there's a little bit of difference, but this might not be worth the effort, but we'll try it anyway. Nothing ventured, hey? Right, let's, let's see if you can see anything when I remove this, which I'm thinking we might not. We might just end up with a very curly bit of um, parchment. You kind of can. Um, uh, I've got a bit of white paper and the um, um, um. Come on, craft room. Let's have a bit of white paper. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Okay, I've got a bit of cream card here. You can kind of see it if you're getting that. Yeah. Oh, is it worth doing? I don't know. Maybe I need to darken up the colours. Let's try that. So I'm going to put that to the side to dry. Put that down there. Um, tissue. Let's try um where's my colours? Let's try some really let's do some bum 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 maybe orange and red, I don't know. Um yeah, it's got to be something a bit more vibrant than what we've got going on at the moment, isn't it? I think we need yellow, it's just slightly darker green. Let's talk you through the colours. So we got fired brick, love fired brick, uh, spiced marmalade, and uh, peeled paint. Okay, let's try again. Do the little flowers this time. If it doesn't show up on this, then I'm just going to call it a day. <laughs> Super bright. Now I'm just going to try the water on the finger thing again, I think. Try not to get it too wet. Start with the lightest colour. Smushed in. I think I might put a bit too much on here. Still. See, 
tell them you're a pain. At least you don't have to put the matte medium on that is spreading really well with just a damp finger so um let's just clear up all that sorry i've got to do this otherwise it will curl like crazy I mean, it already is but sort of that. Oh, I've got too much stuff on my desk. Leave that way, people. I can't move. Just want to get it just in the right position. Give it a go. Definitely needs the wet wipe to remove. Or, you know, damp tissue or something. It doesn't need a wet wipe. I just happen to have them on hand. And they never get thrown away. I reuse these in all sorts of projects, so I'm not damaging the environment. As far as I know, anyway. Let's have a look. Okay, that's slightly better. Um, what can I do with that green bit card? What's that? Let me give you an up close. It's a little bit better, isn't it? A bit more defined with the darker colours. I say it's just, you know, it's just a, a little something to put on the edge of a page. Kind of floral. Yeah, okay. Right, well, it definitely needs darker colours. I'm glad I tried on those first because I'll do the um, big bits now. And I think I'm going to try and get the whole um, picture there. So. Um, actually, I'll just pause you for a sec because I think I might need to find some others. Back and tick. Right, I just grabbed out a couple of other ones, very dirty from gel printing, but the interesting thing will be is that that will transfer onto this, which I don't mind. Um, I find it very interesting. This is a Sheena Douglas one, uh, Gail Agostinelli um, shopping uh, enabled me on that one, and I did, I did manage to find it. I haven't got the packaging, I'm so sorry, but it's a Sheena Douglas one, so. And then I've got my Fern one, which I've shown you before, cheapy from uh, AliExpress. So, I just, I don't, because I've got four, um, four sides. I've got, yeah, I want to do four different sides, if that makes sense, because uh, I have decided it's going to be a two signature journal. Um, so, yeah, I want the sides to be all different. And then I've got the envelopes as well, so. Blah -de blah -de blah. Right. Okay. Um, now then. Um, well, I need to put some paper in between those two, probably. Let me grab a scrap. I'm just going to put that in there just in case it soaks through. I'm really sorry. That's going to be. Right, hold on. Let me sacrifice this bit of card. I'll be fine. And then you can see what I'm doing. Right. Um, okay, I think I'll go with those same colours. They came out... Maybe... Maybe that lighter green. Where are you? Um, yeah, I like the other colours. Right, okay. So we've got a bit more room to play on this one. So uh, I'm not going to go quite so heavy. I'm really bad at really pushing hard with this stuff, and I, you really don't need to, basically. 
Now the only problem is this paper has got ribs on it and it's picking up the ribbed effect. So let me swap that out for a plain piece. Bear with me. <laughs> Grab a bit out of this old book. Otherwise, they are going to have ribs everywhere. there. I don't know if you can see that. It's pick it was picking up the ribs. It, I say it's ridged paper, so yeah. It's better. It's a bit smoother. Just put some patches of that darker green on there. We can always add more. Right, here we go. I'm loving this smushing technique. Um, I would say the green. That green is the lightest one. Am I keeping that? Make sure I'm in screen. Yeah. I'd love to get one of those fancy setups that a lot of YouTubers have got where um, you can film, but you can see it on your iPad or whatever. As I don't have any Apple equipment, I, I've got an iPhone now, but... I think I've realised that you need to have an iPad to be able to use. I can do iMovies on it, but it's very, very small screen, so it's kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. This is just me bumbling around with stuff. Which is good fun. These always look a mess until you actually do the taking away bit. You're trying to blend, 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 but actually you don't need to worry too much because um, the taking away bit kind of makes everything blend together anyway. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Yeah, so that looks a hot mess at the moment. Let's just clear that water up before we end up with that everywhere. Stencil. Um, I think I'm going to do the same flowers on here. But try and get those two, I think, in fully. Maybe not. I want to start them from the bottom because I don't I haven't really judged how tall my pages are going to be so um, um, I can easily cut bits off the top if I need to if you catch my drift Get in that bit there, otherwise it doesn't show up the stem of the 
Um, fern. Oh yeah, that shows up though. Okay. Um, I might just leave this pattern here, up here, because we've got quite a big blobbiness going on. I'm hoping that'll take it away. Make it merge a bit better. Let's have a look. Mm. It's there, it's subtle, but it's there. It makes it feel embossed as well. So, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, right, let's quickly do the other ones. Um, I won't let this go on, guys. I'll um, probably pause you and just sort of show you the finished effect. So that's that one done. Uh, on this one, I want to do the big fern, I think. So I'm just going to concentrate on greens and stuff. I'll do this. I'll pause this bit because you've seen me do the smudging and then I'll bring you back for the the uh, reveal on the, what this looks like. Otherwise, it's going to go on for hours. <laughs> back in a tick. Right, I've done the smushing. I'm just about to do the removal bit. And as this doesn't take long, I thought you might want to see the reveal when it actually uh, happens. So, because that's always satisfying, isn't it? It is for me, anyway. Again, because it's got very fine lines through here, so thumbnail baby wipe. <laughs> Otherwise, um, you don't get the definition of the uh, leaf vein, the main one. We've got enough off. Right, you ready? Oh, it doesn't show up very much. But it is there. It is very subtle. But it is there. When it dries, actually, it's much better. See, this has dried now, this side. So, um, I think it'll be enough. I think, as I say, it's weird. It gives it an almost embossed feel. I guess with vellum, you can push it through, can't you? And make, um, uh, like the parchment craft type thing. But um, anyway, I'll go on, do the others, come back and I'll show you what they all look like. Back in a bit. Right, okay, I've done the other two sides now. Um, that came out quite nice. And then I've just done this one with the um, shaped stencil. So yeah, I say it just takes the plainness off. And yeah, they're going to look fantastic as page wraps, basically, which is what I want them to be. So that's those. Now, I want to do, let me just get these squishy. I 
Happy home. Okay, I want to do the envelopes as well, but I don't want to use this technique on here. I think I'm just going to go straight in with the um, uh, Tim Holt, uh, what are they called? <laughs> oh, lordy, distress inks. So, um, yeah. Now, the other problem I'm, I'm having, I don't know whether to... I think I might just do them as clippings because... I do worry with vellum it rips and tears very easily and I think if I put that in the center of a signature I'd be constantly worried that that is going to pull out so I think I'll just do them as clipping type things so um, I'm just thinking do some background and then um, I've got some um, I've got a bit of snippet roll which I could use which I made ages ago so I've got these bits of snippets in here uh, and just kind of you know make stuff from there basically so no rocket science involved. <laughs> right, I need a stencil. Which one should I use? Um, I don't particularly want to do the fern. Let's try that one. Yeah, so I'm just going to um, ink these. Um, yeah, I think it'll look better, basically. So Now, the other thing I don't want to do is do the whole thing. I just want bits and bobs Let's kind of get it lined up. Yeah. Uh, this is tea stain distress ink. And I really must clean my stencils after I gel print. <laughs> Stay of them. Oh, now see, don't move. That's just rude. If yours keep doing this, it is best to get a bit of washi tape on them and just hold them still. You know, nothing quite like shutting the door after the horse has bolted. As the old saying goes. So I'm not going to go too... I kind of want an all over pattern, but I'm not going to go too dark, basically. So I want it dark on the one side darker anyway okay and that just adds a little bit of interest to your envelope so we do the same on the back again because you know you see both sides obviously so. again I'll do heavy on the right lighter on the left uh, heavy on the left lighter on the right rather And then we'll have a look at a snippet. Oh, how? How did you move? Oh, I've got a shadow. Darn. Okay. Let's not fret about it. Let's just colour in the edges a little bit. I've been loving the Ground Espresso. I mean, it is really dark lined, but um, whoa, that packs a punch. I did it on some tags. I don't know where they are, actually. Um, yeah, and I just very lightly touched the edges, and it was um, kapow. Because <laughs> black is, you know, black's fine, but it can be a little bit too heavy. But yeah, if you use Dark Espresso, beware. <laughs> it's quite quite lethal so this has got like a self seal strip on it so I'll remove that and put a bit of decorative probably a bit of decorative lace actually would be good there won't it let's do it now and then we won't forget like paper lace type stuff I don't know if that will cover it mind no I'll need to punch a new bit which has got like a solid bit to cover that and then the lace sticking out I think yeah, underneath, so I'll have to punch a new bit of that because I haven't got a piece ready, so. Um, right, so that's that one. Again, I want to do them different designs. Let's get rid of that one. Um, let's go back to the... Stuff everywhere, <laughs> again. Yeah, so even though... Do I do it that way? 
No, because they will be envelopes used that way. So maybe we just kind of do that. And just get the oh, trouble with that and we can't let me see it. Obviously. Right, we'll just do a um should we do that in green? Let's be brushes. Looks like I've messed them up. Oh no. Let's do that one. And this one I seem to remember is quite juicy, so even though it is ancient. To avoid those butterflies, I'm going to leave those in a different colour. Oh, stop moving. Yeah, get some uh, get some tape on it, guys. <laughs> it's a lot less stressful. is a uh, fired brick a touch of colour on those Some blue. Sorry, I should have got these all down first, shouldn't I? That's the distress oxide. Oh, that is blue broken china. Come here. One day, one day, with all the other one days, I'll get a proper rack for these things. Make life a little bit easier, won't it? Swing around here, aren't I? Just want to get a little bit of tea dye on there. Just to... I think that'll do. So let's see what we got. Oh, pretty. Okay, cool. Just go in and lightly ink that. Probably should have done that first, actually. But that's okay. We can do it afterwards. Again, I might go around the edges with that dark espresso because it really, really frames everything. Let's see how long we've been going. I might just do that just to show you, just to prove a point. Oh, only 34 minutes. Cool. Okay. Do you want to see? It is really dark mine, so it's a sort of a Marmite thing. You either love it or hate it. Where are you? Ground espresso, S espresso, sorry, not espresso, espresso. Right, now then, use with caution. It's almost like a blacky brown, if that makes any sense. It's nice. I'm liking it. It's a lot darker than a uh, vintage photo. But yeah, it just, see? To me, that's great, I love that. Okay. 
just quickly do the other side while we're here. Yeah, it's not as soft as vintage photo, but um, it's nice to change things up sometimes. Got more work to do on these yet, but at the moment. Nice, I like it. Okay. I don't need much else on there actually. Let's just do. I'm going to be a rebel. I think that's enough. And maybe just this on here. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like, and that's enough. There's the other one. Let's do the same. Actually, we haven't got an image on there, have we? But that's okay as well. So let's do a different flower on this one. And I'm going to put it here because I can envisage something being stuck there. I've got some, you know, these sort of bits going on here so I'll show you those in a second have I converted you to ground espresso been stamping with it and everything it's great because you know it's in the, it's in the um, archival range this one I think he does it in all of his ranges to, to be honest but um, he generally does uh, young Tim but um, yeah it's uh, pretty um, let's not do the same design on the back let's do let's do this one that is fine like I say I've got some um, nice inky fingers I've got some of these made up so um, they're just sort of scrappy bits and bobs so one of those on there would probably look quite nice and yeah I've also got um, I don't know if you saw Andrea Mays, she, uh, sorry, uh, Artie Mays, Andrea, uh, she got these napkins from Sainsbury's and um, I happened to be in there a couple, well, a couple of weeks ago now and saw them and I thought, oh, grabbing one. <laughs> so I might collage a bumblebee on there actually. No, decoupage, I don't know, I can never remember the bloody difference. I'm sorry, language, uh, the blooming difference. So um, yeah, let's not go there. Uh, right, okay, well, I'll do that. I'll do that another time because it doesn't need to be done right now I might do some more of these bits and bobs and put one of those not one of these but I've got like a a birdie one that probably not even in screen actually that would probably look nice wouldn't it yeah yeah something simple like that really just um and then they'll clip in as I say you need to do the thicker wider lace bit box there right I think I'll catch you long enough because I don't want these to be too long because there's going to be quite a few of them as I work my way through the pain of doing ephemera which I've got to get over I've just got to do it and um, stop being such a wuss and you know there it is <laughs> right I'm gonna let you go and I will see you on the next one all right thanks for watching bye